All right, so this is a whole thing. Like, uh, uh, we've been largely covering the Scott Adams story, right? Scott Adams said some things that were uh, seen as racist. Uh, we, he then deleted them, said they weren't racist on a bunch of black conservative podcasts. Then we watched the video and we were like, I guess you have a point, but it still seems kind of racist to make the point. But really the biggest tragedy in the whole thing is that Scott Adams made Dilbert. And Dilbert is not a good comic strip. Like, it is worse than all of the racist things he has said. Now, can you please pull up any Dilbert cartoon you can find? Any Dilbert cartoon. Does it, it, oh, yeah. A three-panel, I want a daily Dilbert strip. Not a Sunday strip. It's too many panels. Just his, his the nuts and bolts of the operation. Any three-panel. This is a parody of Dilbert. Is it? Oh. Done by the guy who does Get Fuzzy, clearly. <laughs> Oops. I'm sorry. I don't know what is and isn't satire anymore mm-hmm. in this world. Okay, here we go. We have a three-panel Dilbert. Now, Dilbert was uh, uh, in thousands of newspapers that no longer carry it. Now, I assume it must be hilarious. Now, let's check. At Google, we're encouraged to spend 20% of our time developing our own ideas. How many hours per week do you work? About 60. It sounds better when you don't do the math. (laughs) <laughs> hold on, hold on. Maybe we're missing something right there. Pull it back up. At Google, we're encouraged to spend 20% of our time developing our own ideas. And then Dilbert says, I guess they're talking to a Google executive, and then Dilbert says, how many hours per week do you work? And then the Google guy says, About 60. And then Wally, Dilbert's co-worker, says, It sounds better when you don't do the math. What's 20% of 60? Uh, 6? 12? 12. Hmm. 12 hours a week. And what are they? I don't even remember the setup. Developing their own ideas. And nothing of value was lost. Now, what has come out recently is that um, our favorite bird brain, the writer of uh, 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 White Fragility, which I was tricked into reading because I thought it was a book about Olympic gymnasts, And then I realized that it said fragility and not white agility. Get it, Mike? You thought you were going to have ups? Yeah, I thought it was white agility. Yeah, you were just going to be the the quickest, the the, the best. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It seems like I could probably write a newspaper strip and be syndicated in thousands of newspapers with wit like that. Some real A1 Dilbert material. But so uh, our favorite bird brain that we hate... Also on this show, because we hate everybody equally. Robin D'Angelo. Were we? What? Then oh, wait. Well, oh, yeah. We should probably also, for, for a palate cleanse, before we get to this Robin D'Angelo thing, bring up today's Get Fuzzy. <laughs> I'm already excited. Look at this. Last week, we had some B characters. This week, we got, okay, we got Satchel. You, would you like to hear my new poem? Yeah, I'd love to. Ahem. Roses are red. Violets are blue. Daffodils are yellow. <laughs> Snowdrops are white. Poppies are orange. D- you see, tulips are pink. Tulips are purple. Tulip. See, he's naming all the flowers and their colors. And there's the added level of the whole tulip thing that happened. It was like the first uh, Beanie Babies craze kind of deal. It's the extra thing. You see, this is brilliant satire. Look at Satchel's f- funny face. 
It's great. This isn't even a Bucky in it. I'm laughing. It's great. <laughs> Look at him. His little eyes reading yeah. his poem. He's adorable. He's very proud of this. He wrote, first of all, the fact that a dog can write <laughs> is pretty good. <laughs> just in general, it's just so much better. Listen, that dog is going to be so much better at writing than my kid for at least four years. Oh, for sure. Oh. <laughs> all right. Now, back to the Robin D'Angelo thing. So Robin D'Angelo, uh, you sent me a tweet that somebody clipped of her saying something similar to what Scott Adams had said. So now can we watch that? And then I'm a big believer in affinity space and affinity work. And I think people of color need to get away from white people <laughs> and and have some community um, with each other. And I'll, I'll let that go and maybe see if anyone else wants to pick it up. All right. I'm a big believer yeah, in let's affinity watch this again. space let's watch this again. and affinity work. And I think people of color need to get away from white people <laughs> and, Pause and it. have some community. Pause it. That little uh-huh annoyed me so much. So, so much, Mike. And also, you see how these black ladies seem that like they don't really like her? I like that part of this video. Yeah, they all look like, man, she, I would not want to be in her house. It don't smell good. Yeah, yeah. I guarantee none of those books behind her have seasoning on them. <laughs> That's what all of those women are thinking. Now, so we watch that. To refresh me, what did Scott Adams say? So if, if you know, nearly half of all blacks uh, are not okay with white people, according to this poll, not according to me, according to this poll, uh, that's a hate group. That's a hate group. And I don't want to have anything to do with them. Pause this. And I would. Now, don't you think Scott Adams, as a racist, should know that Poles are stupid? Poles being people from Poland. That would be his. That should be his default position. Yeah. Hmm, let's watch the rest. Overlook that one. Say, you know, based on the current way things are going, the best advice I would give to white people is to get the hell away from black people. Just get the <laughs> away. Where, wherever you have to go, just get away. Because there's no fixing this. This can't be fixed. Okay. Right, this- so, it does seem like they're saying the exact same thing. Right? It Yes, word for word. It seems like perhaps... The Robin D'Angelo thing may have been taken out of context and saying that there should be people of color should be able to have their own spaces at times because they have to live in the white man's world. And maybe they should be similar to a squirrel. Just look for a a, a with a big butt to get a nut. Who said that? Uh, I think it was the uh, I think it was a a powerful black philosopher. Hmm. 50th law of power. Um, <clears throat> so, they did, it is essentially the same thing. And a lot of people made that comparison at the time. Um, I, I kind of make the argument, like, I am no fan of Robin D'Angelo. I think she's a hack. Now, that's, that is actually the Venn diagram of this, is that they are both probably racist hacks. Right? Yes, for certain. Like, certainly they are both bigoted hacks. Anybody who's making that Dilbert strip, kind of a hack. Yeah, and we know she's a hack. I read that stupid book. It's very bad. There's not one backflip in it. <laughs> it's not about agility at all. Um, so, the two, I, I just, look, I, I actually set up an interview. We have Robin D'Angelo on the line. Um, now, uh, 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 I'm going to ask her some questions. Can you, can you bring her in? <laughs> all, right, all right, all right, yes. Thank you for doing the show, Miss D'Angelo. Uh, 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 I wanted to ask you, uh, why you thought it was okay, uh, 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 to, to say that black people should segregate from white people. You seem to just be squawking angrily at me. I'm just trying to get your message out, miss. 
Now, why again do you think what you said is different than what the guy who made that stupid comic strip Dilbert said? All right, I might have to fry this bird and serve her in a bucket. That sounds delicious. Yeah, bu a bucket. What what comes in buckets typically? Birds. Um, uh, kangaroo meat. This can I think mostly chicken. Yeah, 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 definitely chicken. Oh my god! All right, now we got the race source involved. I can't have two different animals arguing with each other on the show. That's crazy. What is this? A presidential election? <laughs> Moving on. Hey guys, if you enjoyed that clip, make sure you subscribe to the show on iTunes, Spotify, Google Podcasts, or wherever you get podcasts. And make sure you follow me at Chris from EKLYN on Twitter. Also, of course, make sure you support our sponsor. That sponsor is Vinyl Graph. With Vinyl Graph, you can make custom graffiti pieces that are on vinyl stickers that adhere to your wall. They're reusable. You can take them down, use them again. Vinylgraph.com. It's V I N Y L G R A F F.com. Use the promo code Chris1 at checkout, and they're going to give you a sweet 10% discount. That's vinylgraph.com. Use the promo code Chris1 for a discount.